I got a crazy story you won't believe about fan bases being nuts. You want to hear it? Okay. Yes. I'm 100% in. Uh, yes. I'm excited. Yeah. Story time with Rapper. I, I came right in fucking time, dude. Right on time. Foxy got uh, sent to the sin bin in the comment section a couple times earlier today. So hopefully he's <laughs> back for this as well. So I don't know if I like could get in trouble saying this. I don't think I can, but um, oh, here we go. Yeah. This is oh, oh, yeah. Hold on. Fill your boots, Rapper. No, oh, I mean, it's nothing. I'm not really concerned <laughs> about it, but there was like an open, there was, you guys are going to think of lying. I should tease. I'm going to tease it with what, what I'm going to tease it with something. We're going to be like, this guy's full of shit. And then I'll fill in the blanks. Okay. It was like an FBI Adams. investigation that was going on. It had nothing to do with the Danbury Trashers. It was an FBI investigation. And I think I could probably talk about it now because it was like 10 years ago or whatever. But so um, you remember, you remember TJ Oshie in the Olympics, right? Yes. In Sochi. So it was TJ. It was TJ Sochi because he was Team USA. He was scoring in the shootouts and whatever. And so he was like the golden boy. And what did he take? So, he took like 15 penalty shots that one not. time. Yeah, it was crazy. So he's minute, he's a Minnesota kid or guy. And so this is right after the Olympics. I'm playing in Minnesota. You guys may not know this either. My last shift in the NHL because I got suspended, was hitting T.J. Oshie, and I got suspended, and I never played another game. <laughs> you still – so if you sign with the team right now, you'd still be suspended? No, no, I I, I, served, <laughs> I served my game uh, games. It happened uh, – there's two games left in the regular season, and this will go into the story, and we made the playoffs. So I uh, – we, we talked to Bruno earlier. I, I had, like – one leg that was operating i wasn't going to play anyway so where there was a big deal they put me in the game actually because um ryan reeves was playing in st louis and they wanted me to kind of patrol him so i played in the game Oshi came up his head was down i got him and you know i hit him in the chin i didn't mean to but it got, I got him but i never i've never been suspended or fined before in my career and i you know like i wasn't a dirty player but that was one that got away from me so i hit him <laughs> knocked him out and this was right after the Olympics. So everyone was losing. Oh, this guy hates America. Oh, everyone no. in America. So my agent after the game, <laughs> my agent after the game, I, my phone's blowing up. And I got a, I got a call um, from the Department of Player Safety. And they want to have a, uh, a meeting with me uh, via over the phone tomorrow, the next day. So I know I'm probably getting suspended. So I talked to my agent on the way home. And my agent's like, Hey, have you been on Twitter yet? And I'm like, no. He goes, don't, don't go on, dude. <laughs> and, I'm like, oh, wrong? and he goes, just, just don't. And like me, <laughs> I, I don't care. Like I played that role. Like I don't. It doesn't bother me when people say stuff, right? Like, like so. I'm like, I want to kind of see now. <laughs> so I go on there, and there's like, so I'm reading these things. And the next morning, I go to the rink. Same thing, just messages spilling through. Everyone, you piece of shit, like you know, blah blah blah. <laughs> USA hockey, you 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 know, you heard a legend, blah blah. And <laughs> I, all of a sudden, I come across this one, and this one kind of stood out a little bit more. And let me give you a little backstory on this. Well, I don't know how it is in football, but like every team has a security guy, right? And the security guys generally in hockey are like retired chiefs of chief of police. So they're older men, but one day they had power and they were in these positions. But when I when you see these guys, they're just nice men. They like old men that kind of come around. You don't really look at them as like being like weapons, you know. And so we had the guy up there. His name was like I think his name was Bill. And so I'm walking out. Oh, and I, I see Bill. I see Bill. This this older gentleman uh, that's that's there. And I come across. I'm walking out of the rink after practice. I know I'm suspended four games. And I'm scrolling on my phone. I come across this one. I'm like, dude, you can't say that. And I'm thinking out loud. I'm like, you can't, you can't say that to somebody. And I, just, I literally, I turn to the guy. I turn to the guy, Bill, and I go, hey, Bill, check this out. And I uh, show him it. And he looks at it. And he pulls out his, like, readers, puts them on. He goes like this. And he looks at it. And he's like, I'm like, that's Twitter. That's the internet. I'm just being an asshole. Like that's how uh, we go for all of them. He's like, I know what it is, asshole. You know. And uh, I'm like, hey, Bill. Like, not no, whatever. But like, dude, this this is what bothers me. Like, people think you can say whatever you want to say. You can tell me I'm a piece of crap. You can tell me I suck. You can tell me anything you want. But like, they they what it was is they were threatening like my kids. And oh, uh, so I'm like, dude, you can't say that. And the guy goes, 
you, I'll take care of this. I go, oh, you know, no, it's not a big deal. Like, I mean, you know, it's probably somebody down in their basement saying this stuff. So I'm driving home. I got a 30 minute drive home from practice. My phone rings and I, it's, it's a, some, I don't know what number it is. It's, it's an unknown number. And I answer it and they go, this is uh, Lieutenant blah, 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 uh, FBI. Can you meet us uh, in Eden Prairie? in the next 20 minutes i'm like yeah what do you want to meet i met him at starbucks so i go into starbucks this the on the FBI way at starbucks so this guy Smart. called this guy Smart. called these fbi agents so the fbi agents there's two of them they meet me at starbucks and i'm sitting there and he they asked for my phone i hand him my phone they have their computer they hook my phone into their computer i have no idea what oh, they're doing like, what, are oh, Jesus. <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> <You're just laughs> <rolled over. laughs> so go up and they're slaves. doing all this they're doing all this stuff. They're and, still in there. Uh, uh, that's yeah. probably why your phone didn't work today. <laughs> still, hey, still that's, why my phone, that's why my phone wasn't working today. And that's, that's why I'm fucking Rumper and the FBI calling into every show. Yeah. I'm hey, I'm a I'm a I'm a rat. So anyways, you better not uh, you better not tell Jimmy Galante that he's not No, there. dude, I better not. So, anyways, I uh <laughs> these guys are there, <laughs> these guys are there and they're like so what do you, how do you want to handle that? Or do you how do you want to handle this? You want to press charges? I'm like, no, man. I'm like, this is probably some dude, like, a, you know, just being an idiot. I'm like, just, I just don't like that people think they can say whatever they want to say. And they go, okay, but we have to follow through on it because if we don't like that, that's our job. We have to see it all the way through. I'm like, okay, fine. Of course. I get a call a week later. They go, Mike, just want to let you know, uh, we've located, uh, this is a student, uh, I won't say where he went to school. He goes to school at this school um, in this state, it's out west, and he goes, uh, at, at this state, this school, um, his parents live in Chicago, Illinois, and his aunt and uncle live in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, we're going to send our colleagues to his dorm, um, to his aunt and uncle, and to his parents' house tomorrow morning at 8 p.m. at the same time. Oh my God! This is unbelievable. <laughs> so, 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 oh, this is the best part. So the next day happens. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm going to the rink. I'm like, dude, this is happening. I can't. This is so great. I hope they scare the fucking grinning like the butcher's dog. So I'm at the rink. I'm at the rink, and all of a sudden, Bill comes walking up to me. The old man, Bill. Oh, non-imposing looking ass, Bill. <laughs> Bill comes walking up and he just, I swear to God, this is what he says to me. He goes, leans in so no one else can hear. And he goes, Mike, the subject's been neutralized. So he says, <laughs> he goes, the subject's been neutralized. And I'm like, what did you do? What happened? And he goes, they'll be calling you shortly. And so they called me and they told me, yeah, they went there and uh, they pounded on his door, his, of his dorm. The kid, the kid opened the door and they were like, you know, it wasn't like a raid or anything, but they were like, yeah, you know, the, you know like they're questioning him. He was bawling. I was just messing. He was like a college student just being an idiot. And uh, they went to his parents' house and his aunt and uncle's house. And I'm like, yes. I'm like, Bill. Bill, like, so this unassuming old man that worked for the team is an absolute weapon, a killer. It was the greatest yeah, thing. Ever. Liam, are, Liam Neeson are, and Taken, dude. Barry Mills. There's crazy, there's crazy ass fans out there. But Rubber, you get we got crazy. this son of a bitch. Yes. <laughs> what is it? He just did this to scare him. Neutral. Mike Rupper, we got him. <laughs> the subject has been neutralized. <laughs> Not just the subject, by the way. His parents and so his aunt are in three oh, different boy. cities. Yeah. Motherfucker took you know a grandpa. Do you know how hard it was for me to like not tweet at him? that kid and just be like, Hey man, what, uh, I hope you're doing well today. You know, just say, just, just say like, <laughs> just to be like, I see you. Like, you this know what I mean? This kid hates you. Are you kidding yeah, me? This so, kid has, I hold on. There's, I've watched a couple documentaries. You know how hard it is for the, each individual FBI branches to sync up that, I mean, that is, that's almost like a miracle in of itself. And it's just to scare the shit out. Back in the day, there was that, what, that, um, that fighter that was like beat bully beat down or whatever. Like, you know, where they would show up at people's yeah. houses who would, like, yeah. talk shit, and then oh, they would yeah, just yeah. beat the hell out of them. Rupper has, like, hey, we'll just send the FBI over. Just to, Dude, whatever yeah, happened. Yeah. What's that? Did a kid ever get in trouble? You, like No, you they know? asked me for one to press charges. I said, no, I, I think you guys did the job. 
I said that at Starbucks actually, but you guys, you guys wanted to yeah. keep going. You remember, remember when I had the hazelnut cappuccino? I told you no, I didn't really want to. Do anything. <laughs> no, you didn't. Fucking like, but you guys, you guys you thought, plug my I, phone into your fucking computer and took <laughs> everything. Honestly, honestly, this bill, this bill was the most connected man out there. We should have him Jesus. on. We should have him <laughs> Our, our tax dollars hard at work there tracking down this yeah. guy that said something mean to you on Twitter. Jeez, uh, I'll yeah. tell you what, there's a lot of people with this YouTube chat right now shitting their pants because of some of the things they've <laughs> no, said. No, I feel like, like this dude said, like he made, it was like beyond like you suck. So like that's <laughs> why. This dude, but this dude, but like sit here, think about it. So this guy gets these, these, you know, security guys on the team. They get tickets for the games. They come. They get to the airport before you secure it and make sure when you're walking out on the tarmac, getting on the plane. And so they Gino just, can. And when you go there, and you know, they should stop Malkin from driving on the tarmac, but they sometimes don't. And and so no. they, you know, you sit there like you get there, and they just shake your hand. Hey, hey, guys, it's super nice guys. But like, I feel like they 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 sit there and they wait to flex their muscle like you guys have no idea what i've seen in my day and he got an opportunity he ran with it hey we had the nfl has those types of guys too they're all so cool they're like oh geez you know yeah. they yeah they've been there done that and then whenever, like, a situation stories, gets, right? when a situation gets a little bit tense you know they get a you know here's a chance to do something but yeah, yeah. shout out to bill bro man he's like hey listen i'm gonna call the fucking president right now <laughs> Barry Mills. Right now. God damn. Hey, real.